Hey y'all, this is a very country version of Before I Brush My Teeth because today Jeremy and I are going to Saskatchewan, which is his hometown. I'd never really been to like a farm before and I, I guess I'm really a city girl. And then I met Jeremy and we were like, oh, let's go visit your family. So we drove out to Saskatchewan and we got there and I was like, I'm gonna, you know, make a really great impression. I still vividly remember I was wearing a white t-shirt with bright pink jeans and these like heels. <laughs> And we arrived and I looked around and it's like just all farmland. There's no like cement or pavement. And I'm thinking, you know, for, my first thought is, how am I gonna walk to the house in these heels? Cause my heels sink in the dirt. So I'm like walking on my tippy toes. And I think they were probably like, what has our son brought home? Who is the city girl? So my nickname on the farm was princess for like four years, I think it stuck. But I finally got the name removed because one time I was like, that's it. I'm gonna just shred this name. So I went out to the horse barn and I was I was determined I was gonna shovel all of the poop in the horse barn out. And so I'm like sweating and they're all like, wow, look at the princess. Like she, she can actually get down and work. And I'm like, yeah. And then I had an asthma attack. So you can imagine how embarrassed I was after like, oh, I'm so cool I can fit in around the farm. And then I'm like, <gasps> freaking out like I'm gonna have to go to the hospital because I'm a hypochondriac and I'm like I can't breathe what am I gonna do and um they were so, all so sweet and they were like no it's fine and his mom was like helping me and calling around for me so sadly I just think the princess name will forever be even though I really try I really try things I'm most looking forward to on our trip to Saskatchewan Number one, the stars. I've never seen stars in my life so beautiful than when I'm there. Like at home, you don't really notice because, you know, there's pollution and smog and you're too busy really to look around and notice. Um, but out there, I can remember the first time I looked up and it was just like heaven. Number two, I can't wait for quiet. Another crazy thing for me was when I first arrived, I'm like, where are the police sirens and where are the ambulance sirens and where is the honking and where are people yelling at each other? I was very concerned why I wasn't hearing anything. But then I realized like, there is nothing out there. It's just quiet and peaceful and slow and laid back. And it's so nice. It's such a change from everyday life here. I can't wait to see Jeremy's family. We haven't seen them in so long. And I know it's great because we can text and WhatsApp and Skype and those sorts of things, but it's just not the same. The animals, I can't wait to see all the animals out there. Um, I love animals more than anything. And if I could spend my day just with animals, I would be thrilled. So I like to go out and talk to the horses and look at the cows. They used to have a goat named Molly, but she passed away. So being Molly. Um, she was so sweet. And she would like go upstairs and she was really fat. She was so cute and I loved her. I'm gonna miss her this year. And then they have a cat named Dodger and he doesn't have a tail. <laughs> I like to play with his little nubbin. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> Things I am not looking forward to. No cell phone service. Okay. I need a moment because this stresses me out. <laughs> Number two, I'm not looking forward to my allergies and my asthma. I'm like coming armed with like six different puffers. They'll be calling me Puff Daddy out on the farm. Hopefully my asthma stays in check. And number three, I'm not looking forward to bugs. I don't like bugs, I don't like spiders. I like them, I just don't like them on me or around me or in my general area. I'm like that kid that needs to live in a bubble. So that is what we're up to this week. I have to go pack and do everything I was supposed to do in the last four days because you know me, I like to save it to the last minute. Procrastination. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.